Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Samira Dodal Sage. How are you guys? So today I'm going to be sharing with you another step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install chair row molding. So if you have a pretty bland room, say a dining room, living room, or in my case, a bedroom, and you want to give it a nice, fresh, classic look, then adding chair rail molding will definitely give it a nice pop and make it a lot more cozier. So if you want to learn on how to install chair rail molding, please keep watching. All right, everyone, so the first thing we're going to do is take measurements of our walls to determine the length of each piece of molding. I went to Home Depot and I bought primed pine wall trim, just in case anyone was wondering. Then I'm going to determine the height of the chair rail. So typically chair rail can be placed anywhere between 32 and 36 inches from the floor for 8 foot ceilings, but I personally like a higher chair rail so I'm going to make mine 42 inches from the floor. Once you've determined your chair rail height, use a tape measure to mark a line where the chair rail is going to be placed. Now silly old me, I completely forgot to use a, a level. Um, but honestly, if you have one, use it. I mean, I'm pretty good at eyeing things, but it would have been best if I used one. But don't worry, you know, my chair rail came out perfectly straight, so that's all that matters. Next, I'm going to cut our molding to fit our wall. Try to buy long lengths that will reach from corner to corner or from wall corners to door or window jams. This will make the job a lot easier. I'm not going to be using a miter saw only because my husband thinks I'm reckless and doesn't want me to cut my hands off. So if you're uncomfortable using a miter saw, go to Home Depot and get yourself the deluxe clamping miter box. And it comes with a hand saw, so it's so great because it makes cutting angles so much easier. Now I'm going to nail our pieces. I used 6D by 2 inch finishing nails to attach the chair rail to the wall. So start by nailing at one end of the rail and work your way along to bend and straighten any waviness in the molding. Once all the chair rail molding has been installed, you're going to use a hammer and nail set to recess the nail heads. Now I'm going to wipe down the chair rail with a clean, rinsed rag to remove any minor stains or dust. Once I'm done wiping down the chair rail, I'm going to patch the nail holes with wood filler and any gaps between the rail and the wall. Then I'm going to lightly wipe and smooth the joints and putty nail holes. Next step is super important. I'm going to cock the top of the chair rail, this way there aren't any gaps between the wall and the trim. Then run a rag over it to smoothen the molding. Okay, we're almost done. So now for the fun part. To finish off our project, I'm going to apply two coats of paint by Bear in the color Antique White to give it a clean, finished look.
you have it you guys this is the finished product I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I know I'm not a professional but you know I said to myself okay I'm gonna do my own chero might as well record it and just make a small tutorial out of it um, I love it I love the way it came out I wish I did the picture frame moldings um, because I was gonna do that too but honestly my back has been killing me and I know it's just way too much work for me right now and I feel like my body can't take that much work right now so maybe next time I'll, I'll you know consider doing uh, picture frame moldings but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave them down below and I'll see you all next time bye